Okay, John here. Okay, I've refined this process now to copper and aluminum. And this is the crystal. And now it's bonded in here with an electrical conductive of both of these. So you can see that this is what you got. You got a, just a chunk of the polycrystallate material. And then what you have is pulse burst currents. So watch. So it generates a real high voltage first and then comes down. See it? And it adjusts to the load. So there we go. And it just stays like that. So these are about three days old. And uh, we've been able to do a short circuit test. And we're going to be posting all this. But that's the material after it's hardened up. And uh, you can see here I tried it at two different um, levels of thickness. And it still operates the same. So it's a good semiconductive material and you can see the burst and then adjust to the load because these are high impedance so that's a real solid state crystal and there's nothing mine just aluminum and there you can see the crystal material piece of copper and when it's molten, the copper, actually, I probably wouldn't even have to put any bond on it because when it's molten like that, it, uh, it sticks right to it. It just won't come off. And so here's the ball burst again. See it? So I'm just about done with my formula, and then I'll probably be talking about it later. So I just wanted you to see, I've got it pretty well down to, I would like a, a flat sheet because I want a lot of surface area. Next time I will build one that's the entire area of this piece of aluminum, which is about two and a half by almost uh, three and a half long. And there you can see it. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll do this again. See it burst? So they're going to be great in pulse operation. Thanks for watching.